Hello and welcome to a brand new art tutorial on ice paper. Today let us paint a desert as part of food illustration. For this I have chosen a truffle or brownie sizzler. I am Prakriti, an IT professional, an artist and an art educator. I teach painting to beginners using post-colors, gouache and acrylic mediums in an online membership-based class called Paint with Prakriti. I also have a YouTube channel where I post tutorial videos on varied mediums and subjects. These are the supplies we will use for today's painting. A detailed list is mentioned in the description box below. Let's dive in. Here is an easy method to transfer your sketch to your painting surface. Black papers will show any pencil or eraser marks made prominently. So I prefer to transfer my sketch using a white carbon sheet. Draw your outline on a cartridge paper. Place the carbon sheet on the black paper and then your sketch on it. Now redraw the sketch over the outline you have made with slight pressure. The carbon sheet can be used many times. The colors used are mentioned in the description box as well. Here I am mixing a light shade of cream or beige color using yellow ochre and white. The wafer stick on top has this color with some brown lines on it. Black paper need a lot of color to fill in, especially if the medium you are using is translucent. The matte look of gouache or poster colors look beautiful in these black sketchbooks. And as you add layers, you can see your artwork transforming beautifully on these books. Patience is the key for working on black papers. Today, I choose acrylics as a medium as I think food illustration look great with acrylics. Next, I am using burnt sienna for the wooden dish. Wood grain has several shades to it. We need to add the different colors and blend it. The burnt sienna will be the base. I will add orange to lighten the shade and burnt umber to darken in places necessary. But every st step requires you to blend in the dark and light shade to form a smooth surface. Build layers until the underneath surface is not visible through the layers you have put and have a smooth finish on the subject. I have also added a darker version of the cream color for the top part of the dish. Acrylic is a fast drying medium. If kept open for some time, they start to dry and cannot be reactivated. Every half hour, I spritz some water onto my palette to keep them from drying. This works for soft and heavy body acrylics. I have mixed a tiny hint of cobalt blue hue to the beige mixture to create shadows on the lower side of the wafer stick, adding white to the top part of the stick where the light shines most. The lower part of the stick will have a reflected glow and I am depicting this with saturated white. Also coloring the chocolate sauce with burnt umber. Next, let's paint the ice cream. We will need a smooth and opaque application of paint for this part of the painting. I have mixed a small part of burnt sienna, yellow ochre to more white. When painting an object white, I usually use different shades that are closer to white but not completely white. This allows me to add pure white as highlight to the subject I'm painting. I am using Indian yellow for the base of the caramel sauce. The shade is slightly translucent, so I need to go over it a few times with drying time in between. Light lighter and dark darker. This is the mantra I use when painting opaque mediums. Always remember this, especially when detailing. This method adds a nice contrast to your work and will always draw the attention of the audience. I have been using a lot of Irish paper products for nearly 2 years now. They have amazing products at very affordable prices. They have products specially designed for different mediums like watercolors, acrylics and mixed media too. Irish paper is not only about their products, they are also for the community of artists and writers. They have a website called askayushpaper.com 
where you can ask any art or calligraphy related queries which will be answered by amazing and experienced artists. I can still see the paper through the pane, so I will once again go over it with a saturated beige color. Let's paint the dripping chocolate sauce next. I'm using burnt umber for this. Now adding some bubbling chocolate sauce on the hot iron plate. Add some highlights to the bubbles as well. Adding some depth to the chocolate sauce by mixing some black color to burnt umber. Now let's add some shadows on the ice cream scoop. I have added the picture here for reference. I mixed cobalt blue hue to the beach color of the scoop to create the color of the shadows. Adding the pure white as highlights to the parts that has the most light shining on them. Here I'm adding all the small details I see in the reference picture. Remember that each detail added will have a shadow part and a highlighted part. I'm adding the bluish beige mixture to the shadow part and white to the highlighted part. I have mixed blue to the beige mixture to create shadow of the ice cream texture. I will use a fan brush for this to get the fine grains. Dab the brush in random manner so that you get all random marks. I'm taking some white color and adding highlights to each of the grains that we created in the previous step. You can now see the ice cream scoop coming to life. I have mixed white to Indian yellow to make it more opaque. I have mixed black and burnt umber to create dimension to this brownie. I am also adding some crumbs on the sides. I'm also adding some yellow ochre crumbs in between.
Let's add some burnt sienna too to create some variation in the colors. More highlights on the bubbles using Indian yellow. Let's work on the caramel sauce now. I'm darkening the sauce using Indian yellow, some more burnt sienna and merging and mixing it wherever necessary. Also add orange wherever you need some shine. Blend orange and burnt sienna on Indian yellow for the denser area in the caramel sauce. Using burnt sienna to create these lines on the vapor stick. Burnt umber will help to create shadows on the underside of the stick. Making light lighter and dark darker is what I'm doing next. I am now adding highlights to the caramel sauce. Make very careful and conscious lines and dots when doing this. Some shine on the chocolate sauce too. These highlights must show us the shape of the chocolate sauce after dripping. We are done with painting the chocolate brownie sizzler, but this is not all. Let's add the last effect, the smoky effect. I have taped my fan brush to get this effect. I like the bristles to be closer. This will help me give a closer texture of the smoke. Taking white color and dabbing of extra paint on the palette, make these smooth motions with very very light pressure. I'm using a flat brush to add volume in between the smoke in some places. You need not take any extra paint but just smudge whatever paint is there from the previous step. Lastly, I'm adding some fine lines using the detailer brush. And we are done. That's all for today. Hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Thank you for your support. If you have any questions on the painting, comment in the comment box below. Stay tuned for more wonderful content on this channel. Bye.